morning, Herbalife. Great to be here. Sunday morning. So I'll tell you a quick story before we bring out someone very, very special. Um, first of all, what about Jerry and Mark? Was that fantastic or what? Wow, fantastic. You know, it's interesting, in the company, I always say the executives, go back and watch Mark, because we're not doing anything differently today than what was his original dream. It's what the Chairman's Club taught me. It's where the roots of our company are. And it, every word he said there holds true today. It's pretty amazing. All right, so quick story, then I'll bring out our next guest. <laughs> quick story. And then I'll bring out our next guest, see if we can try that again. Um, my first extravaganza was in June, I think, uh, in Las Vegas, 2003. Was it June of 2000? And I had to get the family adjusted to me not being there on Sunday uh, at home because uh, my family is my wife, and, and we try to give the kids a spiritual road. I'm not talking any religion, just a spiritual road. And Sundays, we're about being spiritual in our family. It's pretty sacrosanct. You know, you, you went and listened to somebody who tried to make you feel a little bit better about yourself and your place on earth and hopefully get better internally. And then we usually would have a family day and then a big family dinner every Sunday night. And we, we, when we're together on Sundays, we follow the same path. And so when I said to Mary, well, I'm not going to, you know, be here. And we went through the schedule. And she said, boy, that's a, that's a lot of Sundays you're not going to be here. And I said, don't worry about it, you know, we'll make up for it and I'll spend a little extra time. And she was kind of more worried about the fact that we were breaking down a, a, a family tradition that had lived in both of our families a long time. And then on Sunday in Las Vegas, Jim Rohn came out and he, and he spoke. And I was sitting side stage listening to Jim and I was so tremendously moved by the spirit that this guy is, by the human being that he is, by his words, his compassion, his leadership, his ability to touch on your mind and your soul. And many of those words that we heard from Mark may have been about integrity, but they were also about living a better life and being a better human being and living for the whole and creating opportunity around more than just the individual and bringing people in with a bigger heart. And so. Jim was doing the same things, and he was on stage, and I was tremendously moved by Jim. Uh, bought his books and his tapes, and have now become a very good friend of Jim's. I hope he feels the same way about me that I feel about him, um, because I see Jim as one of those kind of spiritual signposts in my life, someone to emulate and live up to. So Jim got done, and I couldn't help it. I jumped on the cell phone and called my wife, and I said, don't worry, honey. I said, I've been to church today. I've been to the church of Jim Rohn today. And so, you know, so, uh, you know, and, and it worked. And as you know, our buddy Jim, who was Mark's mentor and, and, and was, has been in the direct selling business since the 50s. Jim is a pioneer. And Jim's gone through, you know, some health issues lately. Um, but he's all ours still. And man, do we love Jim Rohn, don't we? I mean, he is just something special. So we, we, we love Jim enough to have him here today. So let's welcome Jim Rohn onto our stage today.
Gary, how are you doing? I got the chocolates. Hi. Wow. Korea. Good to see you. Love you. Fantastic. Wow, I love you. Nice to see you. Incredible. Hey, Mario. Tell everybody hello for me in Korea. Okay? Nice to see you. Wow. Nice to see you. Pleasure. Hi. Nice to see you again. Wow. Good to see you. Tell everybody hello. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Como esta? Fantastico. I love all of you. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Hey, you guys. Wow. Good to see you. Sarah said, I talked to Marcus Lehman. I talked to Alan Lorenz. Good to see you. Wow. Hey, John. Wow. Give me that chair. Give me this chair. Yeah, here we are. I want to say hello to my friends here. Hey, good to see you. How's Dallas? Very good. Fantastico. Hey, good to see you again. Wow. Viva Mexico. Hey, young man. Hey, John. <laughs> it's only been 29 years. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see you. Marcus, isn't this something? How are you doing? Hi, Ben. Nice to see you. Yeah. It's great to see you. Yeah. Hey, Michael. How are you doing? How's Madrid? Madrid, Madrid. Waiting for you. Oh, fantastic. Leslie. Wow. I love you. Wow. What a day, huh? Incredible. Tell everybody in Europe hello for me. We do. Okay. I'm getting better every day. Fantastic. Amartat. So good to see you. Wow. How goes? How's Israel? Very good. Doing good? Okay. All right. Muchas gracias, everybody. Thank you. Well, what an honor it is for me to be here. So, I wish I could kiss you all. But we don't have that much time. But thanks for the welcome, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. When I first got ill, I was weighing, I don't know, 123 pounds. So I started on three shakes a day, plus all the food I could possibly eat. I didn't have an appetite. And uh, thanks to my daughter, thanks to Sarah, uh, I started gaining weight, got my appetite back, and I've gained over 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Now I'm back to two shakes a day, so I can lose a pound or two, right? <laughs> a little too much. But when I started gaining weight, I started getting better. And then, of course, all this time, Mike McKee and Evie and uh, the staff at Herbalife Home Office have been sending me all the emails and the letters and the videos and the DVDs just overwhelming from all around the world. And I want you to know that your thoughts and prayers help me to get well. Yeah. 
And my thoughts and prayers went out to you this past year that the good Lord would bless you with good people, help you build a strong organization, uh, touch the people that needed to be touched. I need a calculation, Alan, and you can get it for me later. How many people are in the 70 countries? It has to be maybe two billion or more, at least. Maybe three. Let's jot that down. Herbalife now is represented in 70 countries, which gives us a market of over 3 billion people. Now we have some more countries to go, I'm sure, but right now the market is 3 billion. So guess what? No matter how much business we do, we're behind. Babies are being born faster than we can sell Herbalife products. <laughs> Every new customer we get, there's three more babies somewhere in the world. So the market is forever. And what a challenge that is. In 70 countries, a market of three billion people. So the key now is for all of you especially, having come to receive your honors here at this special occasion, our job now is to build the organizations that can reach more and more of the three billion people. They're gonna be overweight until you get there. They're gonna have a long list of health problems until you get there. Until you get there, some people are only earning in some countries a dollar a day. A dollar a day. And that's all they're gonna earn is a dollar a day until you and your organization arrives, knocking on their door, handing out a flyer, saying hello. They're going to be waiting for you. The family is going to have all kinds of problems until you get there. People are going to be in despair until you arrive. You and your organization. So the three billion are waiting and our job is almost overwhelming. I don't know how Michael Johnson as the CEO takes care of making sure all the products are now in 70 countries. I don't know how he does it. Guess what the job is called? Impossible. <laughs> if we were to put an ad in the paper to replace the CEO, we would say, if you're interested in an impossible job, please call. Michael, you're doing a fabulous job. I love you. Impossible. But he gets it done and represents us so well. Uh, it's just been fantastic. Mark got us off to a good start, first 50 countries, but now 20 more. And Michael, the last, what, almost six years, has really stepped in these incredible responsibility shoes and now takes care of us so well. But we've got a big job to do. Here's a good note for you. Mark wanted to create for us a place. Not necessarily just like a room. A room is a place. This hotel is a place. But he wanted a place, and at first he called it a family, a family place, where everybody felt like part of the family. But now it's gotten bigger than that. Uh, we now meet in uh, great places around the world and have 18,000 people. That's a place. So the note for you to take is the place is the people. The place is the distributors. The place is you and me. A place where people can come, hear a story, use the products, change their health, start blessing their family, and a place where they can start earning money. That training that Mark gave is just as 
valid today when I see it on the video as it was when he gave it back all those years ago in person. Just start and start expanding thinking. We've got three billion people to reach. So you've got to reach your share, Chairman's Club members. Uh, you've got to reach your share, President's team. You've got to reach your share. Tabulator team members, you've got to reach your share. Start expanding your organization. Go on a little bit more of a fast track recruiting program because we're behind. We're behind. The population is increasing faster than we can possibly get to them. Herbalife's been in business now in America for 29 years. Guess what? There's more overweight people in America now than when we started 29 years ago. So we are behind. We are behind. More overweight people now than when we started 29 years ago, which means we're behind. As fast as we can run, we stay behind. Because the market is so big, the market is so ready, the market is so available. And now, expanding around the world in 70 countries, you can imagine the task we have trying to reach all of the people. So in this unique place that Mark has created where we arrive on special occasions like this, here's the note. Your story inside the Herbalife story is what's important. So here's a phrase, master the testimonials. That's what Mark was all about, creating testimonials. Early testimonials, someone says, I've only been here a short period of time. Here's what's happened to my th health. Here's what's happened to my family. Here's what's happened to my income. I've started making money already. Early testimonials. So be a master of the testimonials. Because two things, really, especially at this level for all of you, are important. Number one, the training. Mark wanted the finest training in the world, and you're doing that. Or we wouldn't be in 70 countries uh, doing, what, 3 billion headed for 4, and we'll soon have the magic number. Mark wanted 5 billion. So you're doing your job. But what's important is the training, the information. But here's what goes along with the training, the testimonials. So master the testimonials. The testimonials reach the heart. The, tra the training reaches the head. So you want to reach the mind, the head, so people understand, have answers, but you also want to reach the heart. So let's go out with a new determination to reach somebody so that they're stronger mentally, can make better decisions about joining Herbalife, about staying, about becoming a part of this wonderful adventure that's on its way, and then inspire them with the testimonials. Okay. I still love to sit and hear the testimonials. Some people say, well, the chairman's club are way up here. But what, what inspires me is their testimonials one more time. The little London meetings, Alan, right? The little London meetings all those years ago, driving around in your Mercedes. I just, the testimonials are so fantastic. Here's where we started, the little London meetings. And then where did we go to Albert's Hall? What is that called? Royal Albert Hall. One of the greatest venues in all of London and probably in all of the world. Royal Albert Hall. There was Alan and there was Mark Hughes. Some of you were there. And guess who else was there? Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was there. Wow. In the Royal Albert Hall, from the little London meetings to the Royal Albert Hall. I'm just stunned by it all. I'm just overwhelmed by it all. The testimonials, what you've been through, the things you overcame to arrive here, and what all of you have been through. Guess what I wish we could do today? Hear everybody's testimonial.
one more time. So let's just stay another two or three days, okay? <laughs> that suits me. So I love to just sit around and hug and kiss and tell the testimonials one more time. Wow, the stuff we've been through, all of the obstacles we overcame, people prayed for us from around the world. When I started thinking about people are praying for me all around the world, it was absolutely overwhelming. And all of us send our prayers to our organization, to Herbal Life and 70 countries. Pray for Herbal Life. Pray for the distributors that go out and knock on doors. Pray for those who hand out flyers. Pray for those who are just getting started and they're scared to death and don't know what to do. Let's pray. Let's pray for everybody out there. Your prayers were magic for me, and it'll be magic for everybody you pray for. You can't imagine what an experience this is for me. I've had a real challenge uh, with my health, but, uh, and I had to miss the extravaganza. I was really sorry about that. And Mexico, I had to miss Mexico extravaganza. But, uh, Thank you. They had 18,000, and I wanted so bad to be there with Sarah, and uh, I couldn't make it. But I called in and said hello, and uh, I also called in for the American, the uh, North America extravaganza. I don't know what region this whole region entails, but. And it was as good for me as it was for the people when I called in. Um, I can't tell you how much I love you. That, that, that's going to take a lot more years, so I'm going to live a lot more years. So I can do that. So let's accelerate our recruiting program because people are going to be in the dark until you come and bring them some light. People are going to be unhappy until you come and bring them a herbal life fiesta. People are going to be unrecognized until you come and get them inside this family and shower them with recognition, shower them with handshakes and hugs and kisses and telling them you can do it. If we can do it, come on, you can do it. So they're out there. Three billion are out there waiting patiently, waiting for you to come. So let's accelerate our recruiting program. Get good at doing your part of the training. And some of you that are starting your leadership training, you know, when someone asks you to participate in a meeting, give your testimonial, always say yes. So repeat that after me, always say yes. Everybody, always say yes. Every little thing they want you to do. Would you stand by the door and welcome people as they come in? Say yes. Would you shake hands with the people that are brand new here tonight? Say yes. yes. Every little thing, say yes. Because it's not just learning to give a good training program. It's learning to shake hands. It's learning to say hello to someone. It's learning to say welcome. Part of the culture of Herbalife, that's it. Mark started it 29 years ago, and that is the culture. Make yourself at home. You're going to hear a fantastic story. And if they're brand new, say you're going to make it. 
If they say, I haven't made any sales and I've been here four days already, say, the fifth day is always the magic day. <laughs> That's Mark Hughes style. If you had some challenges last week, this next week's gonna be your best week ever. No telling who will join if you'll just keep doing what you're doing. That's the magic of River Life. Always say yes, master the testimonials, learn to give good training, informal, just a few points. Here's what River Life's all about. A place where you can come in from the cold, a place where you can come and get around people who will cheer you on every step of the way. A place where you can get healthy and get your family healthy and start contacting your relatives and people you care about, get them healthy. A place where you can start earning money. Change your whole financial cycle. First, start paying your bills on time. Finally, you've got some extra money and you start to give. Casa Herbalife. Just remember Mark Hughes. Remember the simple story, the testimonials, and remember the challenge. We've got a big job. And it looks like right now we're behind. <laughs> behind, yes. So we've got to run to catch up the best we can. I think that's enough for me. I love you all more than I can possibly say. And thanks to my Sarah, who has helped take care of me, as well as my daughter for the last year. Thank you, Sarah. I love you dearly. And thanks. Thank you. Thanks to the Home Office staff. Thank, where's Luigi? Thanks to Luigi who filled in for me. And Jack Kavulich. You know? I had to throw my schedule away for a while. I couldn't travel, couldn't fly. And Jack. And Luigi picked it up and started traveling. So thanks to Jack and Luigi for filling in for me. Wow. Well, I could talk all day, but uh, I think this is enough. Uh, I embrace all of you. I embrace all of you with my heart and soul. We are fulfilling Mark's dream. And that's what I've wanted to do for the last 29 years. And in these next few years, let's really grow. Let's really accelerate. Let's expand. Let's reach out. Let's touch somebody with the magic that we've got. So thank you all for coming. Thanks for your incredible welcome. I want to spend the rest of my life with all of you. God bless. <laughs>